Yo, what is up guys, Coach Tech here. So today we have another AIO to review. It's a new AIO from ASUS. It's the ROG Royo 240. Let's get to it. All right, you guys, so firstly we have, of course, everything here for compatibilities with AMD and Intel. These are for all the sockets, including TR4 sockets as well. So we have a little, um, little baggie in here. I'm not getting into details. Next, let's check out the fans. Now the fans come in a little um, plastic bag. Let's open it. Unbelievable. All right, so straight off the bat, these are nice looking all black design fans, guys. So check them out quickly. As I always like to uh, show you guys, I believe Noctua made these fans. So these are Noctua fans, if I'm not mistaken, but check them out. They look really, really nice, guys. Um, of course, look at this. Of course, look at this. I didn't even get into the price yet of this uh, of the AIO, guys. I'm gonna get into the price later in conclusion, but this is, come on now. Look at this, not braided. All right, not braided, guys, not braided. Standard PWM fans, of course, they look nice, though I gotta admit, they look nice. Uh, unfortunately, no rubber over here. Let me just focus it. No rubber over here, just standard. Even though I like the, the sleek of it. And they're also not RGB, guys. I didn't get into the price yet, but they're not RGB. Again, another pair over here. Okay, so here's the AIO, guys. Uh, just the typical 240, 240 mil uh, AIO. Nothing fancy about it. Pre-applied thermal paste, of course. Now, as I made in the other video, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I don't like these metal brackets uh, pre-installed because a lot of times what could happen is they could, um, they could uh, poke the uh, the rad and bend the rad. So yeah, that's a, I don't know why they, like I always said, I wish they just removed it and let the uh, individual install it. But okay, so they went with the old Ace, with the old Corsair design, I believe where you have to push it in and it snaps, snaps out. I don't know why they went with it. I believe it's very archaic. They should have just changed it. Uh, but that's what they chose to go with. But anyways, pre-applied thermal paste. We have SATA here for power as well as um, OLED display, fan splitters, and for the pump. Uh, and of course we have the OLED, OLED display as ASUS claims. So we're gonna check this out. Of course it peels off, so now we have a nice display over here. But uh, tubing is very long. This is, um, I believe, the same size as the uh, Corsair H100i. Uh, RGB tubing also very long so if you do have a long case it will work great for you uh, We have a USB port over here of course to synchronize everything or a software to uh, to work together But anyways, let's throw this in the rig and uh, let's let's see how it uh, let's see how it performs guys Let's go. All right, you guys. So I was just in the process of installing the rad I just want to share something with you guys really quick. All right, you guys So I don't know how the camera's gonna pick this up, but these screws over here that you get Standard with the uh, the cooler as you see the camera's not focusing that well, but regardless these screws are too long So essentially what I was trying to do is I was trying to screw them into the rad But as I was screwing them in I could see that the the, the screw was already going close through The fins of the radiator. So that's already a big problem. The correct screws are right here Which I had laying around these are a lot shorter So I could show it to you guys in comparison if I could put them both together and as you guys can see the one that's near is shorter than the one that's far all right so this one is a lot shorter than the other one this one i had from my other aios the long one came with this aio so basically guys when you're screwing it in just be careful the screws are a little too long it might perk the um the uh, radiator fence so just be careful when you guys do that all right y'all guys we back at it everything installed let's check it out all right y'all guys so the coolers installed now a quick little heads up i did say that these fans are noxua fans they're not Actually, that was my mistake. I believe the, the model above this has the Noxua fans. These are just regular Asus fans. Also, quickly, as you guys can see, I uh, installed it like this. I thought this was the correct way. Actually, what you had to do, just move it a little more to install it. But listen, it is what it is. You know, I already have it installed. Unfortunately, the directions didn't specify how you have to install for this OLED display. Now, of course, you know, we could see there's a Display now. This is apparently an OLED display not just the LED display So as you guys we could basically see I'm gonna go into detail about this display But quickly just to show you guys how it looks of course all these wires now, you know that that extra um, You know that extra USB wire is just it's not for me, man It just it's more, you know, it's just more clutter more wire I don't like to 
basically have it like that, like this, even though if I installed it correctly, that wire still would be sticking out in just more wires. All right, so now quickly let's talk about the good stuff. Now we've been running this stress test for one hour, guys. One hour even, my goodness, this is completely insane. This, I gotta give this up to Asus. Look at this temps, look at these temps, guys. We got current 55, minimum 33. Maximum 56, average 55. This is completely insane. Just quickly, this is the uh, the Ryzen Master Tool. We are receiving 55.75 Celsius. Now again, this is an hour. The side panel is covered. We are gonna about to do a, a sound test right now, but I had to make it. Uh, I had to leave it closed because I still want. I didn't want to interfere in the temperature change. But quickly, let's hear how this sounds. So all right, so everything is on silent, guys, with the side panel closed. All right, guys, I did stop the stress test. Now, quickly, just a heads up, I am running all my benchmarks at four gigahertz, guys. All right, so this is four gigs. So the stress test is stopped. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, guys, so as you guys heard, the fans are really quiet. I honestly have no complaints of the fans. I mean, the cooler, what it does, this AIO for cooling the CPU, forget about it. It's, it's fantastic. It's the best AIO I've reviewed for cooling the cpu but remember i still get into the price yet all right but now quickly let's play with the software all right guys so check this out everything is set up now this is some bullshit guys check this out all right this is some complete bs all right so on the left hand side over here this is the uh the um, the, the the asus the utility for fan and for basically the fan speeds the voltages so basically this is the utility tool right here, this is the live dash. Now what the live dash is for is to control essentially the the, uh, the LED, the o OLED display. So temperatures, frequencies, we'll go over that. Then you have the aura. Now the aura is for all the RGB stuff, the, the, the lighting, the breathing effects, the lighting. Now, guys, this is basically, now this is some BS, all right? Look, three different softwares you need to do to use essentially just to configure that bad boy. I mean, this is just completely, idiotic all right again this is going to go further in conclusion this is completely idiotic but anyways let's start off basically with this suite so essentially what this suite does this is not going to be a software review but this is for the fans so utilize all the fans and i like i said this is for the live dash for the the io stuff so essentially like right now we have this set to cpu so as you guys can see it has the cpu temperature let me quickly zoom in now you guys can see the CPU temperature is running at 32 degrees Celsius. Now, the temperature is not that accurate, but it's like a, a, a Celsius uh, you know, a degree here and there. And then we have the aura. Now with the aura, like look here, I'm gonna set it to blue, right? Now here, now, now it's blue. You know, now as you guys can see, the accent there is blue. Now look, I'm gonna set it to, let's, let's, let's put this to green. Now there, now, now it's green. You know, it is what it is basically. And then here, <clears throat> what we could do is on the tool, we could basically play, since these are P PWM fans, we could definitely basically play with the speed. So here, basically I turned them all up. Now the fans are full speed. Now you guys hear them. So there, there you go, the fans are full speed. Bye guys, look man. Sorry, sorry for not making this all with these B-roll shots and giving you guys all this BS. I ain't got time for that. I ain't no one got time for that. Well, some people, some cats do. But anyways, I uh, just want to show you guys a quick look. Yeah, you, it's three different softwares, guys. But anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. We're gonna go in conclusion time because I got a lot to talk about. Let's go. All right, Joe, we are back at it. It is conclusion time. All right, so listen guys, check it. All right, I'm not gonna waste you guys time. Listen, $170. Listen, a hundred and seventy dollars, guys. All right, a hundred, not a hundred, a hundred. All right, you're gonna drop a hundred seventy on this cooler for what? For its little o OLED panel. Don't get me wrong. It, it, you guys saw the temperatures. The temperatures are phenomenal. We ran it for an hour. We what? 55, 56, below sixty degrees C for an hour. Clocked at four gigs. I mean, it's phenomenal. But listen, a hundred seventy dollars. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. $170, that's gonna, oh, I said it right. <laughs> but $170, man, that's completely insane, guys. Look, let's start with the good, let's start with the pros, all right? The temperatures were, yeah, were fantastic, you guys saw it. The, the fans, quiet, really good fans, no complaints about the fans. Uh, 
but I mean, that's it. Besides that, what do you guys want me to say? Look, man, the fans weren't braided. The AIO itself, the pump wasn't braided. Uh, look, man, there's three different softwares I need to use in order for me to run this damn cooler. Three, three softwares. I mean, come on. And then it's $170. Yo, it's, it's, it's crazy, guys. It, it's, it's insane. Ultimately, what I'm trying to <laughs> ultimately what I'm trying to say is, listen, there's other coolers out there in the market you guys can go for. You know, I, I I'm gonna have cards around here that I've reviewed that are seventy dollars less, seventy, eighty, two hundred dollars less than this cooler. You know, it's just it ain't worth it. I don't know what Asus was thinking about hitting the market for one hundred eighty dollars. Oh, most of all, I'm tripping. Most of all, no RGB. Yo, one hundred and seventy dollars, but no RGB. Dude, the, the, the Corsair Platinum Cooler, it's the same price and it got RGB. And guess what? You need one software. One freaking software. Not to, and the software is fantastic. Like I, I, like I said from the get-go, the IQ software is hands down the best software right now in the market. Easily the, the best software. But that cooler is $170 and it got RGBs and it got good fans too. I mean, I don't know what was Ace was thinking about dropping this fan. Uh, dropping this AIO for this price, not even throwing RGBs on there. I don't understand. The OLED display, look. Yeah, it gives you the temperature. You could customize it. You could put different uh, pictures on it. I mean, look, man, but it's $170, guys. Now, if this was on the market for 120 130 110 okay, that's understandable. What I put $170, guys, it's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, but it's just, yeah, it honestly is too expensive for the performance. You guys could go with the, uh, the, the Corsair H100i, RGB Pro. You guys could do the, the deep cool that I reviewed. I, I don't recommend the cooler master. That's just complete trash for even for the prices. It's just that the fans were terrible, that there's too much moving parts. It was just, it was just trash. Uh, you could get the Kraken, the NZXT Kraken, which is also a good uh, AIO, but it's just, guys, it's too expensive, too much software, too many moving parts, no RGB. Kosher out. Deuces.